Elizabeth Hanson, introduce ourselves, but I'm Elizabeth Wilson. And I'm Melissa Lehman, um, and we're fabulous JK teachers. <laughs> we have not rehearsed this at all, so it's going to be very casual. If you have questions, just feel free to stop and, and ask. It seems like a lot of stuff, but do you want, do you all want to go around and introduce yourselves? I know that you all kind of all know each other from being in the same room, but that way everybody's yeah. on the same page. Sure. I'm RJ Hooker. Um, I, we, our daughter Alma is in BCC, obviously. Not BCC, Biddy um, Bengals. I know what these things are called. Um, <laughs> I also work here, I'm, I'm the assistant director of college counseling over the upper school. Likewise, my daughter's Alma, and you probably see my face a lot in the front office. I'm the administrative assistant here. Kathy, just in case. I'm Rachel Daly, and my daughter is Serena in Biddy Bengals, and I have another daughter, Scarlett, who will be the people pops, right? Okay. I'm Ashley, and I have Addie in the Biddy Bangles and Zach in second grade. I'm Mary Armstrong, and I have Francis in the Biddy Bangles, and then Ruby's in your garden. I'm Jillian Goodman, and I have Franny Goodman, who's in ninth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandon Boylston. Uh, my son Cole is in Biddy Bangles, and my daughter is in first grade, Blake. And you, you have another connection there. Too. And my wife teaches art. <laughs> I said another kid. I was like, wait, what? No, I was just oh, kidding. I know. Like, like, oh. <laughs> it's funny. A lot of the kids, I feel like, look like y'all. <laughs> you know, like, trying to like figure That's out good. who belong to who. I was like, yeah, I can see. But so we figured the best way for you to kind of learn about JK is just to kind of go through our typical JK a day in the life of a junior kindergartner. So in the morning. When they arrive, they um, they just have center time where they get to free play, just similar to what they do when they come in for bitty bingles. And then we also they can, they'll sign in, and we don't start off at the beginning of the year this way, but we will start pulling them one on one to work on writing their name. And they'll start with capital letters first, and then when they're ready, we'll move them on to the um, capital letter first, and then the lowercase. And then. Is there anything else that you want to add? No, I'm just making sure you're kind of Yeah. <laughs> and then Melissa, I'll let you. Okay, so every day we start off with a morning meeting, probably very similar to um, the Biddy Bingle classroom. Um, we go over a greeting, and so we have different greetings that we typically do. We teach those to the kids. Um, it's anything from a high five to a fist bump. Um, sometimes we'll do a pair share, so they'll turn and talk to a neighbor and discuss, like, their weekend or whatever it is they really want to talk about at the moment. Um, we go over the calendar. Um, we do the weather. Um, we have jobs, so the kids will choose. We have eight jobs a day um, this year. There are 16 kids total, so we do eight one day, eight the next. Um, and at this point in the year, they know if they don't have a job today, they'll have one tomorrow. Um, they take them very seriously. <laughs> Um, and they will let you know all day what their job is and all of their friends, which is good. I mean, they, um, they share that responsibility. Um, also, so typically for morning meeting, we're sitting in a circle. I think we were maybe singing some songs there. But they all have their spot in the circle so they can see each other very similar um, to this. And we go over the schedule for the day. So we'll talk about what specials we're going to. Usually the teacher helper does that job. And so they're just kind of looking at our... Um, agenda that on the board and we talk about where we're going. Um, sometimes we do things that are a little different at morning meetings. So for us, um, we've noticed that some of our kids need some help with um, fine motor stuff. So I have this like bucket of things they can choose to sit and just squeeze at morning meeting. Um, just little things that you know, helping with their fine motor and their finger strength that maybe they don't really realize it, but we've noticed that they need help with those things. Um, now they're a rule, they know they can't throw it or roll it across the floor, so we do a lot of um, acting out and showing what's appropriate and what's not, um, but just little things that we might change from day to day in our morning meeting. Um, it typically lasts, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much time we have and where we're going and then how um, cooperative they are. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes we just have to stop and let them talk, and that's okay right. too. Yeah. And we do songs as well. And usually we have specials in the morning. Um, typically after that morning meeting time, it just depends because every day is different. I just we listed all the different ones. They go to the same specials that they go to um, for Biddy Bingle. Some of the time increments might be a little bit different, but we have computer science, music library, and the end. 
and I don't know if the bitty bingles have started, but um, sometimes we'll go to the Mandarin classroom um, at this point in the year, and um, it's exciting for them. There's a lot to see and do in there. So. And I have a few pictures from some of the specialist classes. I think to do the top one up there with the letters is in the computer lab. So they're getting to do many different things. And I was actually, I had a, a goals meeting with Ms. Goodman this morning um, about goals for my year. And I was telling her, we were talking about bi motor, and I was telling her that a lot of the specialists have really um, helped our younger ones to work on different bi motor activities while they're um, in their specialist class. And for computer and science, they are half groups. So um, typically half are in science, while the other half are in computer, and then they switch. So it's a full hour, um, but they're divided in half. So it helps the mm -hmm. teacher just have a smaller group. And families are welcome to come volunteer um, in those specials, I think, much like So no, this year in art, computer, and science, we all have a sign-up genius for parents to come, and it's a great way to have a chance for you to get to know the class and just to be there with, with your child and get to see what they're doing. Snack. <laughs> <laughs> Usually after specials we have snack and we do, you know, practice a lot of independence during that time of trying to open that. They might be twisting something off or um, opening things because a lot of times their immediate response just come up. They don't even ask. They just hold it up like this and we say, you know, what, and they use their words to ask us and then we also say try first and see if you can do it. And then also just packing up after snack and cleaning up and um, cleaning up their spot. But a big thing for us this year right now is just um, they want to rush through everything and go on to the next activity. So we have practiced a lot of just sitting and eating and talking with our friends and when you're done, we'll tell you when it's time to get up. And I say, you know, when you go to a restaurant, you just don't get up and start walking around the restaurant. <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> no, but so we talk about that, you know, and just, yeah, just being together and really um, engaging in conversation. And they've gotten a lot better and they're eating more and they're not just kind of rushing through it just to go do the next thing, whatever it is, even if it's rest time. You know, like, you're excited about rest time. <laughs> um, so we're trying to work on that. Work on that too. <clears throat> and then our, part of our, kind of our main part of the day yeah. is our work time. So we do this in small groups. And this is similar to what they do in Bitty Bingles. They have work time. And we have different little stations where they'll just rotate through. That way we can see them in smaller groups. And so we do math during that time, language arts, which might have letters or sounds or rhyming games and then also handwriting without tears so we're going to show you a few of those materials just so you can kind of become familiar with um, handwriting without tears is a program that Greensboro Day has had for quite a while that we've adopted and last year Melissa and, and I incorporated it into junior kindergarten for the first time and so we have we always start off the, at the beginning of the week doing like a multi-sensory approach. We have these, um, so it's fun for them because they're getting to play and make letters different ways. So we have these wooden pieces where they make the letters with those. We also have, we have the same magnet pieces that we put on the board. So they know the letter of the week is A or whatever letter it is. And so then we use, they, they use the dough and they roll these out and they get to make the different letters. And Mr. Smiley right here is at the top and that teaches them that's where their starting point is for the letters until some letters like A will you'll start in the middle, but it kind of gets that um, focus point for them. And then we have these other little magnetic boards that are fun to use. They have, these are all some of the little magnetic pieces and they get to make them. And then we also have chalk boards. So we use all of these before we ever go to um, like a pencil or anything like that, and then we have a little workbook. Yeah, so for the workbook, it typically has like their pre-letter strips. So they'll practice one day, and then they'll practice forming the letters um, next. So it kind of gives them um, a guideline to follow. And you get to use these fun little crayons. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, they're so teeny tiny. And we can pass these around so you can kind of see, but it helps them, it forces them to hold the pencil at the bottom or the crayon, and when we do the workbooks, we do those in crayon, it just helps with that resistance. And so, we, and then the pencils look like little golf pencils. Well, and a lot of times they'll try to pick up the pencil like this, and it's hard when it's this size. Right. I mean, it really like forces them to kind of hold it and have control over it in their hands. Yeah. 
May I offer something just as a, 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 I remember back in kindergarten having a conference with my child's teacher about the way she was holding her pencil. And I, I found myself thinking, what's the big deal with pencil? You know, what, what's the big deal about that? And um, so a, a couple of things I think it's important for us to know as parents. Um, when you don't hold it correctly, it becomes more of a gross motor task and a much greater fatigue on the body um, than if you hold it correctly. And I still don't hold my pencil correctly. So, <laughs> really hard hard some to <laughs> um, so that's one thing. And then many of us might say, well, it doesn't matter because they're just going to be touch typing anyway. You know, why, why do we need to do that? And if you look at um, functional MRI research about what happens to the brain when you learn to put pencil to paper first, and then you go to touch type um, versus when you just learn to touch type and you haven't learned pencil and paperwork. Um, it's pretty remarkable in terms of the connections your brain makes, which allows you to do all kinds of other problem solving and things like that. So I sort of poo-pooed as a parent, and um, I just want you to not do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, too, because we, um, being at this school, we often talk to the kindergarten teachers, and we say, you know, what are some things that you really want us to focus on in JK before moving to kindergarten. And one of their top things is pencil grip. They're like, it's so hard to reteach them the right way after they are in the habit of just doing it the wrong way. Um, and so we've been very purposeful about really focusing on that um, and just getting their fingers ready for. Well, 20 years from now, he's going to make these beautiful poster boards of early <laughs> such typing. <laughs> I know, I I still remember it's mom and dad in the front and the three kids in the back. <laughs> and we do have little like um, grips and things right. that will help them, but we don't want them to depend on that. Um, it's all of a sudden when it's not there, they don't know what to do. So, so Ruby's having a hard time with that. We bought all the grips before she even started here. I mean, we knew right away. We were yes. like, whoa, no. Yes. And you're just yes. holding the pencil like this. And we're like, what? And then it was all these weird ways. And we're like, it's like, you know, which is strange because Francis went straight to holding it the correct way. Yes. And we were like, what? Yes. Why didn't Ruby yes. do that? And she's still struggling with it, but um, and she says every day, "Oh, I'm so tired. My arm is killing me from all this writing." And I think, you know, it probably is. Like you said, it's harder when when you don't hold it right. So she's working on that. But it's, yeah, I didn't know it would be that important. Right? Seems like a really small thing. And it's hard for me to teach that my mom messed up because I have to think about it. Like when I'm helping them, right? And like what it should look like, right? And then the next little slide is some of the math stuff. Yeah, so, so we do lots of like sorting um, and graphing. I mean, you can tell we've got a few of our graphs yeah. that we do. Um, even if they can't write yet, they can still do things like this. Um, we'll go and use the, the areas around campus um, to do different activities. Or so we did like a shape hunt, and they had to find and take pictures of certain things that we were looking for. Um, we got some of the materials. Yeah, and then most of our math is hands-on. We do do some um, pencil and paper type things, but um, especially at the beginning of the year, we're going to be doing you know, hands-on, and they don't even know what that they're that they're doing math. So yes, um, to go back to writing. Sorry, I just yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> um, would it be helpful if we worked with them over the summer on it, or would you rather us not really introduce anything if you had your own way of like started doing? It? I don't, don't want to mess you up. Way if. If it's clearly like not right, then we help them. But there are several different ways that you can hold it that are okay. Um, you know, we've got. I should have brought that. We could. Well, I mean, part of the book it kind of shows a little bit. I think. And I mean, it's okay if they come in if they're still holding yeah. it. Like this will work with them. It's kind of depends on your child, and it's you don't want to force anything because if then you force them, then they're never going to want to pick up a crayon. They're never going to want to to do that. So I think it's kind of really depends. On her, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I think it's okay to to do that. But like um, Jillian was saying, that um, you put like this is supposed to be um, Dad in the front seat, oh, and this okay. is Mom, That's and then the three kids are yeah, in the back. So, in and one way that we you can teach them too is if they use their two fingers like this and they pick it up and then they lose it back and then they flip it back. Okay. That kind of helps with the. And some kids at this age are still trying to figure out which hand to write with. I mean, I've got a few that will put it right in front of them and see, you know, if they use their left hand or their right hand um, to go and pick it up. And so that's interesting to watch. Um, and if she's having 
a problem with it now, um, I mean, I know that Emily's probably noticed, or that's a goal for her, or yeah. something that she would probably bring to your attention. Yeah, we, we, we've been doing the golf pencils mm -hmm. and the pre handwriting where she just makes shapes, yeah. I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, she, she doesn't want to hold it right, and it is a struggle, but I don't, mm -hmm. I haven't been really like, said, forcing it. Yeah, just kind of sit down for five, ten minutes and see if you can do it, and I don't really. And yeah, so with math, we just, we play a lot of games. <laughs> and it's fun, even the, right before I came here, we were, we happened today, used to have three different math stations, that's just what we had today, and um, they were so excited, and I told them, I said, I'm going to talk to all the parents that are um, in, that are being Biddy Bingle parents that will be JKers next year, and I said, what do you, what would you say to them? And they're like, we love JK. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, they had no idea we're rolling dice and doing number things, and they are just playing. So, that's what's so fun about. Okay, so, even um, during our rest time, we have some that don't rest. And so, we have these little boxes of things that they can do. Um, and this one is just creating patterns that you see on the little cards. Um, you know, and sometimes we'll have them do three or four of these first, then they can do their own pattern, or they can choose to use the way they want to, but um, just again trying to see if they can create and um, right. model what they what they see. Yeah. And this is another one that has Legos, and they have to try to copy that same design or pattern. And this one's just um, words that maybe we're working on, or um, you know, sight words or whatever that are around the room. And then they have the letters, and we'll give them a um, cookie sheet, and then they just stick those to the mirror. Um, so it's all around. <laughs> So they're actually picking up on sight words and reading. We got them. a few um, in my class <coughs> that are. Um, some of them came in like that. It's nothing that we're going to force on them, but we can see if they're ready. If they know all of their letters and sounds, then we'll start with that. But we do have some parents the that teachers kids they're like, that. you know, <laughs> oh, no, 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 actually. No. No. And I have yeah. some in my room too. So. Yeah. 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 Um, but we're not going to, I mean, it's not an expectation of ours. We do have parents that will come in and say, I want my kid to read. And we're like, well, do they know their letters? Well, not yet. So it's kind of like a <laughs> right. gradual process. Right. Um, but so. it's the um, differentiated learning. Right? Yes. yes. So we're yes. just going to meet each child where yeah. they are. So don't panic. And they don't know <laughs> that, like, they're on different levels necessarily. You know, they're just so used to doing things a little differently and being in different groups for things. Like, they don't know that, like, kind of where they fit and what the group. That's fantastic. And that's what's nice about the small group for work time. It might be that they are kind of having play centers that are free, and then maybe we're pulling them a few at a time, or maybe even one at a time, depending on the activity. So it just allows us to differentiate wherever they are and stretch them. And um, obviously, we do lots of letters and sounds, and um, these are just some different activities. The, the top corner, where we have shaving cream, and we're um, writing letters in the shaving cream. And I will say, when my daughter, who's in first grade, was working on her spelling words, and she was having a hard time because we moved up, we got out the shaving cream, and she had a ball. So you can use that for engagement. <laughs> she loved it. So, and then, like, for instance, in one group I was working on, we were spelling some words. And so we might, I might have said cat, and I'd say k, and they'd have to write that letter. In another group, we might just be, I might have a T and showing them a T. Let's make this T. So it really just depends on where the student is. Um, for the letters too, that one says, "Do you does your name have the letter U in it? And so then they get to come and write their name on the board. And we do that and they love that. Mm -hmm. um, Melissa, do you want to explain that one at the bottom, what they're doing there? Yeah, so I think our letter of the week was U. And so we were writing under the table. We had put paper underneath there. Um, and they were so excited, but then they got frustrated very quickly. It was hard for them to hold their arm up there and write. And um, I mean, some of them couldn't reach, they get pillows and sat those up. But um, you know, just let them, it doesn't have to be sitting at the table doing stuff. I mean, we give them the option to sit, stand, crawl, I mean, whatever they want to do, you know, sometimes right. to get things done. Um, but that was kind of a gross motor thing that was done with some fine motor stuff. Um, but they were all over each other and trying to figure out how to, how to have their personal space and share and um, get the job done. So yeah, I'm done at the top with um, Legos. Oh, L. Yeah, like I <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we just find different ways to incorporate learning um, so that it's fun for them. Yeah. And we, right now we do a letter of the week. 
but we go in the order of the handwriting without tears book. Yes. So it starts with all the straight lines first. So I know in Biddy Bingles they start with A, um, but we do it a little bit differently. And so not all of our activities, but a lot of our activities that week we'll have to do with, you know, whatever that letter is. On the left, we, it was U for that week too, and we were making a unicorn with the U. So it just depends on what yeah. the... L's the first one. It's just the oh, L, sorry. Yeah. And it's funny because, you know, we used to just start with A because it made sense. I mean, A was the first letter. Um, but that's one of the hardest ones to write because of the um, diagonal lines. And so sometimes they're not quite ready for that yet. And so we really um, had to had to learn about that process. And through so hearing without tears, we were able to write the one instead. No, I'm like looking at Outside time. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah. So um, speaking of writing, so some of my um, kids were very into just writing words that they saw, words that they were curious about, words that they knew. And so we started to go along with the letter of the week. Um, there are about six kids that have these notebooks. And so they trace the letter, and then they just figure out words that they think start with um, that letter. And so I don't spell them for them, I help them sound it out, um, and then they write it. And sometimes they'll go and take their notebook and a chair and sit in front of like a wall that has words or whatever, or their, their friends' cubbies, and just write you know, what they see. Um, some of the other kids started to ask about this and what it was, and so then I got them a notebook as well. So they could feel like you know, they were a part of it, even though they weren't doing the same thing. Um, but again, they didn't realize, you know, they just showed interest and said, so okay, I'll get you a notebook, your special notebook, and so um, they let me know if they haven't done it for the weekend, so they'll sit and grab their notebooks and just go to town, but it's really funny to see sometimes the words they come up with or um, how they think something should be spelled, and yeah, it's neat. And then their favorite part of the day is the Bible reading. Yeah. Yeah. We think work time is their favorite part. They love oh, we should have taken a little video oh, for the beginning of the year. <laughs> <laughs> All the teachers went out there to uh, experience playground for the first time. So this is a new playground structure, and your your bitty bingles get to play on there every day. Right now, we're, we love the new playground. So um, we go outside with both JK classes and the bitty bingles. So that's why some of your kids know who we are because they see us every day on the playground, so they get to interact. And this is their favorite part for sure. And then after we come in, we have a lunch, and kind of the same thing we said with mm -hmm. snacks. They're mm -hmm. just independently learning how to open things and um, getting, like Melissa in my class do, we, when we finish, they have to sit and just talk to their friends at the table. We started doing lunch buddies on Fridays so that the kids could um, spend more time together in both JK rooms. And so we have this whole system, you know, mixing friends up and all this, and they come in the room and they don't speak to like other people in the class. You know, like we did this so that you can like talk and interact communicate and interact, and, and they just like want to talk to like the friends in their class. It's really funny. Um, so I mean, we actually had a few that got upset. I'm like, no, 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 like, you can go back to your class. Like, okay, like, you should be your friend. Like, so you just never know sometimes what they're gonna do. Um, we thought it was a great idea. Yeah. So we'll, we'll keep trying. <laughs> And then after um, lunch every day, we have rest time. And this is it's kind of similar to the um, Biddy Bingles, and I know some students leave to, um, at 1 o'clock at this point in the day. And so we do have a quiet time and turn the lights out. And, and then Melissa showed some of the quiet bin activities. Um, and we, at the beginning of the year, I usually have, I don't know, like this year I had a handful that slept, some never sleep. But it is a big transition to drop that nap around this time. And some kids have already dropped it, some haven't, but um, yours might have already. But um, we just transitioned them out so that the, toward the tail end of the year, from none of mine sleep anymore. Or I have parents who say, don't let them sleep. <laughs> because then they won't go to bed at night. So um, we try to have like a 20 minute just quiet time regrouping. I mean, until they're resting their bodies and their brains. I mean, we let them um, have books on their cot so they can read their book. And then we kind of gauge from there if we need to just shorten it or um, what you know our afternoon should look like. And usually the afternoons are just kind of finishing things from the morning, um, or like we've been using um, the think tank space, and we'll talk about that some too. Just going there in the afternoon and letting them be creative and stuff. So. so then at the end of the day, they just have open center time where they get to play and choose their own centers. And that's dramatic playing blocks and manipulatives or. Um, 
have art station, some, some different things here. I'm just gonna, um, here's some other different things that we do at JK that might be a little bit different from some of the things that they've done in Biddy Bingles. Um, we do go to the fire station with Biddy Bingles at the beginning of the year, and the, but we get to go on our own special field trip to, the, to Art Quest. Um, and I have actually a few pictures from that too. And after Art Quest, um, we'll go to Flower Park if it's nice and have lunch and let them play. Because that, the weather is actually been great. Yes, Thankfully. I know. The times we play the game, we good morning. Um, and then um, Senior Buddy. So every JK student and every kindergartner is partnered up with a senior. And at the beginning of the year, it's kind of overwhelming, but <laughs> they, um, for our little ones, but they get partnered up with a senior and they go into the opening ceremony with that senior, and at the end of the year, they go to the closing ceremony. And so during the year, we try to get together, I would say like three or four times, um, they'll come, the seniors will come in this day, we were still finishing lunch, and they came in, we're reading books and doing activities, and I think we meet again in February um, to, to hang Watch out. Watch and then day. try to sit down and communicate with the little ones. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny, because they don't know what to do. I'm like, it's okay. Like, Talk to the reason. Well, you know, like we're not going to back you. Okay. <laughs> but the seniors but, uh, really enjoy this yeah. um, opportunity to get to come back to the lower school and to get to have those um, students. So it's a fun little activity for the seniors, not just for our kids. Um, the think tank. We just um, did this activity with Miss McLaughlin. I guess a couple weeks ago. I think y'all just did that this weekend. Yeah, I'm not sure, but. Um, this is just the think tank is one of the um, rooms kind of back past the computer lab where we as a school can go in there and use different materials to create, design, learn to fail. So that's um, hard for a lot of adults as well. But um, so many more kids are having a hard time just accepting that it's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to, to fail, and let's try this again. So this was just they had toothpicks and gumdrops and they had to create different things with them, we gave them like kind of a different, at first we just kind of said create what you want and then we said okay can you make this and then we did letters and different things so we told them the gumdrops were rotten so they wouldn't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> they were getting really close, I was like no 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 you can't eat them. Uh, some of these were left over from the candy house. Were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the so right and then they eventually did letters and things sure, and I sure. think it's neat to see how they're kind of helping each other, um, you know, work through the challenge. I also got to visit when um, Amanda was working with them on building a bridge yes. that supported a load. Yes. And they had, they to, had to make a table. Out. Yeah. yeah. The table. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so then other grades will, you know, do other yeah. fun things. So it's a neat space for us to create and design. And bingle games. It's very fun. It's kind of, I guess it's fun. I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, I do, but it, it's a fun, um, I guess we go from all the way junior kindergarten all the way to seniors are put into five different color groups and each group is raising money for a different charity in the community and there's a company that will match kind of the points earned for that um, team yellow then they are raising money for juvenile diabetes and so then a company will match all the points and say if you've got one point we'll give a dollar so um, we and JK get to be the orange team which is um, we're we basically felt the out yes. for a while. So we're the cheerleaders. <laughs> yes. Because it was overwhelming to put us with the different colors. So we kind of get to go around to the different together. stations yeah. together. We float around. We get to hand out extra points. Spirit points. Spirit points. Yeah. So it, it allows us to be a part of it without being separated because um, it's the whole school. So it can be very overwhelming and the kids are like, what is going on? But then for some of the games, they have like a station that's karaoke, you know, and they'll invite us to come up and sing with them or whatever. And so they, they really like that. Um, but they're not, they don't have to do it if they don't want to. It's just a, we got to check all the stations and games out. Um, but yeah, it's a great special wearing their orange school wide <laughs> fun thing we get to do. Um, and these are some, just some other parts of our curriculum that didn't kind of fit into our typical daily schedule. I'll let Melissa yeah. share about a little picture of one of our friends. So, um, this is a little buddy of my class this year. We were actually in here and it got to be really loud and overwhelming and he was feeling frustrated. He said, 
um, I need to practice breathing. And I said, okay. You know. So he sat in the middle of the floor and practiced his breathing um, on his own. So I was like, I've got to get a picture of this really quickly. Um, but these are things that, you know, with our social and emotional um, program, we talk about things like breathing or, oh, I had my little card. Oh, yes, yeah, so they can step. Um, Should I get step? I think. No, I think it's still But so, anyways, we do, um, I'll find it later. Every week we have um, a card with like a situation or a problem on it. And I know that um, Biddy Bingles do this as well. Um, there are different cards in different scenarios. But on the back, it gives us the words. So we can just read off this, and they have no idea. Um, so it's great. And, um, and we have puppets that come with this kind of program. But basically, we talk about a situation, what's happening, um, what we think they should do. Um, if we were in this situation, what we would do. And sometimes we'll have the kids act it out so that it's, it's real for them. It's not just, well, I don't know these people. I don't know. It's not my problem, you know. So we'll kind of role play it. Um, and then we have the puppets that um, sometimes will join us as well. But sometimes they're very distracting. So they don't always get to come. Um, I have this little card. They probably just. One of your kids took it. So we have this, like, um, it looks very similar to this little thing. But it's different. They're um, calming cards. So like one might say, like, I can take a deep breath. One might say, you know, I'm going to stomp my feet or whatever. Like it gives them um, things to do when they're really upset and just don't know what to do. Um, so that's helpful. And they refer to the cards a lot. Um, and one of them is taking a deep breath. Um, and then we also read different books throughout the year. Um, this was, happens to be, this is called The Way I Feel, and it has different feelings. And we just want to also tell the kids and validate their feelings. It's okay to be frustrated and it's okay to be sad and to, to really go ahead and label that feeling. I'm happy or I'm sad or I'm frustrated. And um, Melissa made these really cool rocks that have this um, different faces. And my class actually did this the other day and they had to, with a partner, try to figure out what that feeling was. And we, we talk about looking at each other's faces and what, how do you think that person feels? How do you know they feel that way? You know, and we'll talk about your eyebrows or your, you know, so. Um, I like to do this. We don't like to throw them at each other. We don't know what to talk about. Um, but it was funny because we, um, after reading that book, you know, they all had something to say. They really wanted to share about the time when they felt a certain way. So I said, okay, well, let's just, like, let's do it. Um, so we have this really fancy circle cutter. It's not mine, but I love it. And so we cut out their faces and used those for something else. And so we just gave them this, and then they had to draw about a time when they felt a certain way. Um, they did it alone, so they weren't like looking at each other's papers or even because sometimes they'll do that. Um, so we did this alone, and they just um, told us about one time when they felt a certain way. Um, this is a scared face because he watches Storm Chasers and Tornadoes on TV. I thought he's going to be scared too. Um, but you know, it's just really neat for them. And we do this every single year and they love this book. I mean, this book and the yearbook are their favorite books, like ever in our class. It's really interesting that they like those. But so anyways, we just talk about different feelings and, um, and you never know what they're going to say or draw or um, so yeah, it's just a and at this age in all of junior kindergarten, we're social, emotional is a big part of our day. We're constantly um, modeling for students how to handle those frustrations if they you know, are sharing with a friend and somebody takes something from them and doing a lot of role play, like Melissa said, so that they can, when they get in that moment, they know what to do. And so it's not just on these cards or these books. I would say that's probably the number one thing we're doing all day long of our day. Yeah. talking about feelings. And we have our guidance counselor, um, Brittany Lutzweiler. She's also available and works with us, and she's great. I mean, she comes in a lot so the kids know her, and she's not just there when there's a problem. I mean, she's um, in our rooms a lot, so it's great to have that resource for us. And just a wonderful resource <coughs> for, for you guys this year as well. Um, and then, I guess these are some of the things. This was my class doing this the other day, the, the book that was so really neat to see that. And then... We also invite parents to come in and share, and so these are just some things this year that um, some parents came in and shared about their different dates or um, traditions that they have at home, and so we invite all of you um, to, to come, and I know Emily's the same, just to come yes. in and share if there's something that you want to share with us. We have occupation, because we have community Special helpers, talent, anything, <laughs> anything so, you want to share, you're welcome. Um, that might be
the like, last five months of their life. And sometimes, too, um, not just parents, but like siblings will come in and want to like read to the class, or um, sometimes we'll do reading buddies with the class that, um, yeah, I think last year we worked with first grade, so towards the end of the year, and they were paired up and they would read books together. And so we try to do things um, throughout the lower school and the entire school as well. We go to um, shows and things on campus and really try to take advantage of all of our spaces. And actually, in this